depends on positions and what we're going to see from Big. Well, the answers are right here in front of you. Buys are in, engaged with the nades, and phase on the T side with plenty of util themselves. It's also worth noting if phase close this, that means Navi are through, guaranteed into the playoffs. And the Navi fans also rooting for phase in this game. Yeah, I always love it when that happens. Any Navi fans turned phase fans? Make some noise. Here we go. Little pit flash, a little smoke going over to Moto. One out here to try and get you in, but Tizian has brought you down. Olaf will trade out for a double, and there's still a guy in the sight. Searson brushed no his side, the bomb way. all the way up on balcony. They're going to have to go up to go get it. Twist will begin scaling the, uh, the hay cart now. This is one hell of a oh, turnaround. No. Look at the move. Keto is trying to make Olaf wants no part of it. And so he removes him out of the round, leaving it all on Mr. Gade. Dead to Carrigan and FaZe win the pistol. That went from an incredible start with Tizian doubling up on the apps push. Bear in mind you had two players over towards mid, like throwing the util in who were arriving a little late. It is so huge that Olaf was able to double up there and keep that alive. Because if he falls to Tizian as well, you know, those two guys coming up middle are essentially moving into a bomb site that, that they have no control over, no bomb. Yeah. Olaf's impact there cannot be understated enough. That is, uh, that is lovely. Yeah, FaZe armed with USPs as well. Run away with that. And Tizian, we know his USP al alone is amazing, right? He's the guy who can do those barrel flicks on overpass, cool. those yeah. you know, from the ground. I don't even know how you explain them. If you've seen them, you know what I mean. And so two kills, well, means nothing in the grand scheme. FaZe take the pistol, and now Big decide to force. FaZe trying to get involved in mid. Bomb is still late back down in T-spawn. Scout on the A site for Searson. Three here. So standard setup here for Big. Both Deagles actually fighting on the short side of the pistols, rather. Taps them ready with a re-smoke. Try and stall this play out. Where did that go? That bounced. Either way, Sisson Scout is gone and FaZe, they don't care what you till you throw at them, they're going to throw their bodies at you. The flash comes in, but Carrigan was up and past it, and he taps out two into the bomb site. Easy round one by FaZe, and Big have to save. Yeah, left running away again are the big boys. FaZe just look very dialed in right now. I keep seeing little smiles as well every now and again. A smiley FaZe Clan is a dangerous FaZe Clan. Yeah, I think quite often people overlook the, uh, the mentality aspect of CSGO. If you, you know, are molding all the time, if you're angry, if you're sad, if you're raging you know these are all very negative head spaces to be in cs so yeah, should be you know it's a video game we should have fun we should laugh yeah so we should smile smile because when you're enjoying it you, everything just feels better hard to enjoy losing though especially with what's on don't the line don't make excuses for molders you i'm not about the teams <laughs> no, now whoa, this is whoa, more whoa, of a whoa, whoa it's a very different thing between not enjoying it and raging harry those are two very separate entities that's true you can not enjoy yourself but you don't have to ruin your team's morale that's you don't have a, to bring people that, down that, to your that, level that's a good point just sit there in silence and cry it's free after all <laughs> Well, this should be a pretty free round as well, talking yeah. of free things. You can't spell free without re. <laughs> and so <laughs> that's exactly how gay it's going to be feeling here. Oh, no. As he walks into Olaf's crosshair. Oh, dearie me, Harry. It's a gimbal gamble. And Carrigan's got the line up two out of three. And hey, some Deeks coming out. Keto, 1v4. Couldn't do the 1v5. This is easy by comparison. Yeah, I think teeing it up as that is a little <laughs> dangerous, but we'll see. Maybe. Probably just going to save anyway. He so. probably will just save, yeah. It's not going to, you know, I feel like you kind of made a promise that we can't keep here, Hugo. 
This was not an easy round. Keto is just holding on to that Galil. And, you know, Galil's basically a T-side M4 with five more bullets and is cheaper. So that's all well and good. He'll get out of it with this. Phase go up 3-0. and oh. Everything started exactly how it should. We haven't had any, you know, four spy victories thrown in. I think that's quite relieving as well. I always get nervous for Phase, especially with their T-sides. Like, I feel like sometimes yes. they'll win the pistol. You're going, oh, boys, all right, let's see what they can do. And then just, boom, forced upon, wrecked, brutal, savage. You want a sad story? Keith has got 99 armor here. And even though he's saving his gun, he'd love to upgrade with a helmet. That's going to cost him a grand, so... <laughs> Very, uh, very sad indeed. Very sad. Probably won't even upgrade his result. That's one expensive helmet. And your Kevlar isn't even dusted. Phase 3 0, though. Still have that Mac and Galil in place. So let's see if uh, monetary woes come back to hurt Keto. In the meantime, Sisson's got his AWP, and that's a good sign. Didn't really get going on that first map. Brokey certainly did. So that is one slight worry. Phase setting you till quick on this A-bomb side. They're mollied out in the middle, though. Have to respect that for a moment. Big, this is not the round to make gambles. You've just got to hit your shots, hold your spots. Phase are still in no hurry. Looking like a late B with his apartment's control out of Rain and Olaf. Easy does it into this first rifle round for FaZe. You know, they're really taking their time here. They've scared big away from any semblance of banana control. And that molly has only furthered that goal right now. You're kind of getting paranoid. Oh, maybe they're taking banana. Maybe they're moving up. And that's why we have this early rotation out of Searson. Now, you know, we will have him trading places with Gabe by the looks. Oh. But this might come far too late in the round. Right now, it's just Tabson in this A bomb site all alone. He has been the standout player for Big as of late, and he wants to show us why now more so than ever. First man down for Tabson. Spamming the smoke, oh, no. caught in the air, the clash of the IGLs, and Carrigan comes out ahead. It's a three on three. This is not a bad situation for Big. They can look to give this a go. The fast short wrap might blindside Olaf, but Brokey's able to trade and keep it even. Now they've got him pinned in at the graveyard, but he doesn't have to peek. He can just wait. We're on Brokey's oh time God. now, and Carrigan's tapping them out. Bro, look at the start that Carrigan's having. Yeah. Eight and one in this game. He is someone who only gets scarier the more he's feeling it. I think the less you have been worrying about his individual performance, the better. It reflects in the calls. Yeah, he's... Oh. Pulls the old bubble throat. Yeah, the, uh, the, the little... Lizard inside of me tried to break out there. Karagan's fighting Stuff an it orb. Down. Yeah, push it down. Uh, save it for later. Karagan's fighting an orb as well. I know it's a headshot angle. It's, it's obviously very favorable, but you know that's yeah. You're, you're talking about his, uh, his his form or he's feeling it. Going for plays like that, double facing those last two long players with phase and big fell for the B fake as well. Right, they had a third man out of position. Tabson felt like he had the read. Felt like he had a chance there, but Karagan is doing all the leading and all the reading right now. Book in hand, AK in the other. Dodges the nade completely on the corner. Gade, oh dear, watch out, buddy. That kill would have sent Bloody Faze hell. right into B. 209 ADR, I don't know how I feel about that. It's not going to keep up, at least. It's only four rounds. No, Hugo, you naysayer. Surely, right. Gambled on B again. FaZe are faking you hard right now if you're big. That's second round in a row. They've made the wrong read. I mean, this is more of a round where you are going to make those gambles happen because you've got you know, this AWP surrounded by pistols. You want people to pick up this gun, but it's fired off. FaZe go, ha! Orbs on B, lads. Let's go A. Yeah, so it's going to be another save out of big. Faze doing a phenomenal job of misdirecting them so far. Now, normally all it ever takes is like the CTs to make one right read and suddenly, right, like the, the kind of mental game feels like it gets reset a little bit. So hopefully we can have Big break this streak soon just so they arrive to the table nice and early. But because Carrigan is one of these guys who leads from the front lines, right, he'll always be up there fighting, you know, right at the forefront of his team. 
I, I feel like whenever he's, you know, looking really comfortable doing that, it does just scream that his reads are good because he's so willing to fight you individually. Like, he's so willing to take you on in these gunfights because he's feeling like he's got a good read on the game. As mentioned, it feels like that's reflecting in the cooling as well. He's constantly outbraining the big boys right now. I want this to be our momentum breakground. I don't want this to be one of these games where it's like a 7-0 lead for FaZe before yeah. Big even get there first. They just feel horrible, especially CT Inferno, where for the majority of players, you are left saving in rounds that get lost, right? You don't even really get a chance yeah. to play. And so far, this has been a great <laughs> example of that. Yeah, Robin's leaning back, man. He's having a great yeah, time. Robin's chilling out. Just, He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, yeah, keep it up, boys. boys I'm just going to log off for the evening. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, it's under control. And, you know, FaZe, you talk about you don't want this to be one-sided, and you talk about the saves, and FaZe have been doing good fakes so far. Big want to take some real estate. Banana control is the name of the game. Olaf, oh, pre-fired. Sit, Tizzy, saw the barrel. Took the shot. He's stuck in Boilo. They almost line up. Rain gets it. In, uh, back though in the favor of phase instead four on four big they did have banana but now they peel back gate solo with the utility and keto's on that rotate still got the orb over on the shore side phase where do they want to go this time as things go quiet phase could be anywhere keto decides to keep things more standard but phase you never know where they're going to go twist up top b two and apps and the bomb Picked up a ramp. Another aggro flash to get you into Banana. Let's see Twisk and Dodger. He's up in front and he's still dead. Good flashbang for Keto. Oh, finally as well. Big get the info that, okay, that was the fake. We just peeked in. No one was there. We haven't seen or heard anything. And now they spot these players moving in through the short side. That's a double molly, but the smoke will extinguish it. Searson holding on, not letting them in. Can he find all three? Yeah. Of course he can. Searson with the orb locks the round in. Beautiful scenes there. And if we can get a couple more rounds of that out of the guy, you know, you mentioned how he had a slow start back on Dust2. It felt like he really couldn't find anything. When you compare the impact that broke he was having to Searson, maybe it helps shed some light on why that felt like such a good game out of phase. You know, the orping power, something that Searson normally is very keen to provide, just wasn't there for big. Now, are we going to have this be the momentum break where big start to find their foot and start to build their way back in? You can already see that they're feeling more confident here. They're keen to take Banana away, no longer playing to the mercy of FaZe's fakes. Yeah, this is great as well. Full orb info, Searson, he's hitting bangers right now. He's got to re-smoke. This is even more time. The FaZe just don't have any semblance of B control. And so either they have to wait out everything, which would be the right play before you make your next move, or risk walking into this quad setup on A instead. FaZe will just keep patient. Stay winning. Brokey has that B flash ready to go. Obviously, players jump through the smoke right at the end. See some good flash out from bottom B, and Carrigan's chasing him down. Oh. oh, the nades, they've slowed him down a lot, but he still gets back into the site. Luckily enough, FaZe pumped the brakes. I always get nervous, right? Like when you're getting naded on that corner, even getting slowed for a second can make all the difference. Broke, he doesn't even make an effort to turn from that flash. He just tried to hit it on timing. And look, right, you've put the fear in big so much that even seeing all of this outside of B wasn't enough to rotate oh guys goodness. over. Look oh, at the size Carrigan. of this fake. Carrigan is all the way through spawn. He might tell them to come B after all. Come long, guys. I might have a kill here. You're walking into the stack. This could go really wrong, though. Oh, like 15 dear. seconds, and they are going into all three. They have no control at A. They had none on the build-up. There's the mow down from Gabe. And Carrigan coming in late from this CT wrap. Gonna get shut down after that. It's a little bit weird, uh, you know. <sighs> I think you're expecting that third rotate, right? You think there's a, a full setup of B, not only because Big have fallen for every single time, which is hilariously the, the reason the undoing, the reason the reason that Big are still yeah. double hit at 20 seconds in the round. They go, guys, just we don't know what they're doing. Just play for your sight. And then, you know, at that point, Karen's running CTs, looking for the rotate. He doesn't see it, and everyone else is committed up short. So yeah, yeah, you laugh that one off. Oh dear. Oh well, they they anchored down that round. That's fine. They're not. Most 
snowball anymore. And you can use that to your advantage next time and just c commit, you know, double down on your B play and fully execute after your defaulting. I wonder if that's where FaZe will go now. Tizian's being point. ballsy right oh, here. Dear. And yeah, it may be a little too ballsy. It's not like there was anyone here who could have helped him. He's trying to fight for this control, but gives over that opening pick. And now the pressure's really on for big. Like, it, it gets really, really scary when you go a man down on the CT side. It suddenly becomes a matter of making the right gamble. No one wants their round to come down to a coin flip. Oh, well, Tabson, not learning from the lesson of Tizian, also pushes into the apartments and has given up another, attempting to trade that out late. Uh -oh. They're going to peek the apartments again. Oh, Gabe with one, but he's getting chased. He's getting chased down. He manages to get back into the site. I don't know how. And while this is happening, Keto is holding down the arch side. Gabe oh. won't let them in. He's always good for two. Can he get any more? Yes, a third. And just Olaf oh. left to beat. Gabe goes on a tear. And look at him. It's got that fresh org smell about him. Mm. Nice, that's a good meme. That's a good one there. And a big round for Berlin International Gaming. They lock it in. All thanks to Gade. That was a three on five phase. They don't mind committing into a two man hold there, but you'd think you'd get more trades off. Gade just dancing behind the boxes on default. Sick round out of him. Not traded, not chased down after that first kill onto Rain. Big, starting to believe again. That's three rounds in a row. That's FaZe's money broken. More Deagles. But this time, not the German Deeks. They're going to get made quick work of two kills. Fighting deep down middle. That's your teammate's flash. This is going to steal it instead. And Rain maybe catching it by surprise. That's one. Hello. Turn around. Tizian is dead to Brokey. That, that was down bottom middle. What? That wasn't even I, Rain. Yeah. I thought he got him in apps. I thought Rain got what? him too. What is going on? Faze, these rounds are double wrapping them. These Bogey's rounds are behind. so sloppy and so weird. Oh. And right now, you know, like when, when you're the Deagles, you, you're fine with sloppy and weird. It's kind of your preferred state of being. Oh, Ooh, nice Rain shot. will get caught and now Brokey should yeah. be dead. Oh, oh yeah, nice. jumping in. Jump scare from Kido. Yeah, if you're going to drop into under, like, be ready to pre-fire, basically. Like, don't just crawl in and sneak in. Yeah, like, jump, crouch in the air and hit the landing. And, yeah, you're just going to jump scare your opponent. It will feel great. Yeah, the, the team flash there, that was Casius was playing for the flash. He dodged it, and he gets some nice shots with the orb. For a second, we get scared of the Deagles, but perfect landing from Keto. And four to five. Forget FaZe's lead. This one's heating up. Oh, right oh down my oh, God. there they go. They're in your face, twist. Uh, and Carrigan's past them, what? Oh my God, okay, <laughs> well, yeah. Round's over. Yeah, there's something to be said there. I just can't think of the words. Mental. Bro, I love the way Carrigan plays. Like, Twist is in the smoke, fighting two different guys that like no one could even see each other. Twist is probably going like, oh, Finn, can you come back? I need some help here. Finn's like, no, I'm in B. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm killing the them kill, all, then and then he kills the B guys. Right? Right? Oh. And like, at that point in time, the third guy in the site's got no idea that he's getting chased down. The other two dudes are still walking into folks in the smoke. Carry Gan, man. Yeah, dude. 13 to 6, he takes the AWP out of B, he kills a rotate, and he can give that to Brokey if he wants as well. 6 to 4, Carrigan's leading the charge, big with the pause as well. Money is fine. Sort of. Maybe. Eh. Everyone almost can buy. Maybe you have to take a hit with the nades. This kind of performance, in a way, Neo never even left phase. Mr. Anderson is still very much here. It's like a low-key Matrix reference for you all. Bit of a nade exchange. Hugo always says that when you explain the joke, yeah, I got it, it and, and then and then you explained it, and then it just oh. then you're now you're hollow. I don't want to compliment it anymore. Rain, you know you can't spell. Grain of salt without rain, so here we are. Should have taken that app swing with a grain of salt, perhaps, as they're doubled up here. Tenuous. Yeah. Oh, oh Karen playing again. with more timings. It's not oh. safe to get out of Boiler. You're going to have to fight your way through the apartments. The apartments are now your final hold, mate. Carrigan is in your bomb site, whether you like it or not. 
They're having to flash themselves in oh. as CTs because oh. Carrigan is here. There's the first. He keeps the second player trapped in apps. Carrigan has made this round very weird for everyone involved. Even his own teammates are struggling with what to do here. They're trying to flush him out while he's down in the pit. And finally they will. Now they get another kill. Carrigan heard at least one more player here. He knows about the guy in the site. So what's the game plan going to be for the rest of the gang? A three on three. The whole round thrown into this weird limbo because of how deep Carrigan was able to get. What a mad play for Carrigan. And it works out pretty well in spreading big thin. Tabson's got pit though, and I don't think that's what you're ready for. Molly comes in. Once you kill Tabson, you check the kill feed and you wonder where's Keto? He was a guy to get that trade in the first place. Olaf smokes the Molotov and Brokey burns a little bit as well. It's not looking easy, but Twist has a good timing. Bombsman uh, needs to go down rather. It's in the site. Keto just trying to stall a few more seconds and he's done it. Just enough. No plant allowed. And Gade Living gets big the round. I, I, it's a bit weird. Yeah, it's a bit wacky. FaZe is just trying to find that second player and Keto did a great job of stalling it out. All that from Carrigan, though. I wonder if FaZe, you know, I guess it's easy in hindsight to realize B would be pretty empty at that point. Carrigan had so long in the bomb site with two players a big trapped in apartments. They knew he was there. He knew they were there. And so it wasn't as... Oh, so they overbought. <laughs> There's a spare scout in spawn. Doesn't help, does it? Yeah, that's also going to further the old money troubles. But a quad B stack, the, or the order of the day, maybe. Flash it back in. Here it is. Carrigan, normally the guy to play anti-flash, but once again, he didn't have any teammates up there with him. Hopefully, the sheer amount of utility has given away this stack. Like, there was so many flashes, so many nades. And so surely, with Carrigan being the guy right up at the front, he should have been able to piece this together. Rest of phase are taking it slow, and this has given time for Big to move these players back into the A bomb site. Oh, rain! That's a lot of damage. Even through the wall, does more to Searson. Gonna get out with his life. Phase would love the four on four. Now, Big No, they need to care about Long. Sisters called. He's been smoked off. Tabson's dispatched to do it. They're all going to fight together. And Ray would have spray almost the third. Tabson moves in for the round, and he wants everyone dead. Olaf's taken down Sears and finally Tapson's dig the bomb. He's chasing Brokey. Even if that kill landed, it would have been the round. Instead, Tapson's caught by surprise by Olaf on the side. And now Brokey just trying to get out of there. He goes back to B. Oh my god, are you really gonna try this one? Olaf's got the info. Brokey's got an open path, and Olaf just needs to live. There's no way Bro, Olaf's Gade will out. know. Yeah, bye-bye. That's huge. Thanks for coming. That's the round. Unless Gade <laughs> works it out quickly. He has at least no kit, but he's going for the clutch. Yeah, but with the bomb planted for Banana, Olaf's late timing back in is great for FaZe. It means he can just play around this bomb. Now, there is a kit on Gade, so maybe oh, oh, if he won that first fight, maybe there was a chance with the smoke to make things weird. But there's no need to talk about maybes. Not when Brokey's nailed the shot and picked up the round for yeah, FaZe Clan. What a spray for Rain as well. Like, the reason he doesn't get taps in there in this one is he's still trying to spam out CS5 in the smoke, and he was behind the smoke. Taps and almost makes magic happen. Dropping the bomb would have caused some serious problems for Olaf, who they already, you know, knew about. He got an entry onto Searson. Very weird round, but big. Close. Won't cut it. They're running out of money. FaZe is picking up momentum. And they're not getting flustered in these weird, wacky mid-rounds either. T-Side's building. Boost up. Oh, that's one way to do it. <laughs> okay, that was really, really cool, the way that they did that. They didn't assemble the boost. Instead, they like uh, they, they have Searson leaping onto the head of the guy boosting him so that he just takes an immediate peek. Also, Carrigan's dead here. Uh-oh, FaZe. You can feel this one slipping away from you. You don't want to admit it. But suddenly you're thrown into a two on four. Now, two of these players are very, very low and Olaf is throwing guns out the map. Hasn't been able to get all of them out of there. Gade retreats with an AK and it's pretty important right now that Tabson doesn't re-swing this because he wants that rifle. Yeah. 
these rounds can still get out of hand. Yeah, it, it's not impossible for FaZe to win this, right? You might just look at the numbers and say four on two, oh my God, they've, they've butchered it. But Big don't have the info. They don't really know what's happening. They don't want to take a gamble either and risk ending up in like a, a post plant. Is that what that was? That bug was? Olaf marked the smoke, right? Maybe he pinged it and we saw it highlighted in GoTV. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's a bug, but sometimes we see guns illuminated in GoTV. Very strange. Oh, nice boost. Rain catches Gade low. They know the AK is still here, though. Where will it be? Hiding in the corner. Rain walks into the smoke. The Molotov saves his life, and it takes out Tabson's Olaf running out of options. The smoke is faded. He has to stay back on Banana's side to win his 1v1. And midair is Tizian with the AWP. Olaf retreats, goes back to play with his teammate. They want to just take down one of these players while they've got the chance. Tizian stalling, doing the dance, and Reigns drops this, and meaning Olaf can get out of dodge. And there we go, two yeah. and four. Oh, beautiful, beautiful from Rain and Off. So much experience between these two. I loved every single moment of getting to watch that. The boost to find the opener, the molly to clear out the positions in the site and force that very awkward gunfight out of Tabson. Plus, I, I do think as well, like since Olaf went away, right? Like pre pre retirement, Olaf was still like just cracked in every way, and he's really good now. But it feels like he's gotten even smarter with like how he plays rounds out, right? No longer does he like just kind of run into fights and go, I'm just the best, so I'll win them. You know, like so often he's willing to just make the call to win the round. It's not always pretty. But my God, does it put rounds yeah. on the board for FaZe Clan. Everything he did here was like a perfect example of that. You know, like he's fighting the banana guy in the two on two to slow it down. But the moment Rain gets this kill, he goes, well, the banana guy can do whatever he wants. Yeah. I'll just go hide. He can't win. <laughs> Robin's not Robin's changing his stance. such an easy Still time right keep now. Keep it up, boys. Another round. 10-5, maybe. Fantastic. Yeah, he's going to be having a great time, right? Carrigan's feeling it, uh, and the calls are flowing. The two VXs are coming in. No one's having a poor game. Twist is 3-8, and eight, but you wouldn't even realize. Big. Oh. Ollied out a banana for now, and it keeps three here as FaZe set up util towards that A-bomb site. They're not executing. When a FaZe been in a hurry in this T-side, they've often done their due diligence. And that's why it's been so hard for Big to read where to play, where to stack, where to lead. Keto's making a solo peek. And his team has already left him. He sees the orb, but he doesn't want to be bit by it. And that even keeps Tabsom in, in position as well. Sisson's taken that one AWP to long and he needs to win the round on his own. He certainly could. Searson's a pretty wild guy. There's the first on a Carrigan. They might give him a few more chances here. They've just gotten past, oh, but no. the Deagles oh, no. all success back in the site and in the blink of an eye, it's all twists, baby, one on four. He spots the pit player. He knows all about Gade with that USP. Oh. Taps him out, makes it look easy. Ready for taps and twists. This could be remarkable, but instead it's Searson sealing the deal on a sixth round for Big. The AWP coming in with a couple of kills. The Deagle and Tizian as well. Mm. That's a chef's kiss moment right yeah, there. That's two one on fives in this in this series that has come that have come very close down to one v twos. Nice try out of twists. Oh, clean headshots. But this is so quick with the AWP man catching that first. The smoke fades as well. And look at the closer. Ugh, wouldn't even get time to react. Phase. All right. You've won the half, you're happy with that at least, but now with only pistols and a single Galil, it's Big's chance to make things fairly equal. And they won't turn their nose up at that opportunity, especially considering how dominant this game started with a 5-0. With FaZe seemingly having every read on every rotate. Twists. Caught by the Yorp. Sism was ready for him to be through the smoke, and now he looks for more. Now, Searson should nail this, but because I've said that, Carrigan's going to wreck him. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Wallbang will do it. He will wallbang Carrigan out. Rain attempting to hit a timing is also a lamb to the slaughter. Olaf Ooh. baited in by the promise of that molly into the double setup. And just broke, he left. It was a 1v5 when this began. Oh, just. And that will be. Yeah, this can flip this script very quickly. Big double nade up top B phase aren't there though. 
Dodging a bit of death. Carrigan has the re-aggro flash and so big. They're tempted into these murky waters that they think are uninhabited by FaZe Clan. They couldn't be further from the truth. Rain, oh, quick tap, another flash, but it's too late. It's for Twist instead. They need to check this corner. There's another flash ready to go. Twist just gets cleared, though, and these, this util has done absolutely nothing for FaZe. Big, now ready to go, all in. They know Carrigan's here. Those flashes came from Koff, and he's changed spot. Oh, nice tap, and Olaf even dealing with the mid lurk while this is happening. They're now in on the side of the big side. They're trying to rush down Carrigan. He's all alone, oh. but he's making it look so damn comfortable. Gade will get the better of it, but Carrigan has teed up FaZe Clan for this pistol after a one-sided start for the big boys. He's getting weird with it. He is getting weird with it, Gade. Oh, Raffin through CT spawn. Bye. All right, baby. What can he do, Hugo? Are they going to grab the kit? It's at back uh, quad at new box. They need to pick it up. Yeah, Olaf's running for it. I think they realized at this point, why is he not planted? He's had the site for free all round. Here we go. Open plant. Gade with his options available goes towards the pit with a Glock. Range is not in his repertoire. Yeah, it, it's going to be weird because, you know, it, it's this very open plant. But as you say, he's got the Glock and the USP should have the advantage at range here. So Gade going to take something impressive. Going to take something gnarly. Brokey going up and over in the graveyard and Gade is <gasps> looking. He hides. Oh! But Olaf, that is fast. And that's probably just come in right after Brokey said, yeah, pit's clear. Nope. And oh, Olaf is still ready for it. I think Brokey saw him. Surely not, right? Like, it didn't look like I don't think him. he did, no. Yeah, right below would have at least fired a bullet. Uh, man, Olaf, when we have seen FaZe play both these maps against Miles and EG, one, one win, one loss. One thing Olaf has been really good at, and I know it doesn't really matter in this round, but it, it does come through, is his uh, timings on mid pushes, uh, mid pushes. It feels like whenever T's go B, he's always He's pushing down mid, killing the Lurker, and then flanking Banana. Obviously, it ended up on A anyway, but, uh, but it's still a good play. Still set them up with a kit with the info. I've just yet to see him do that mid push at the wrong moment and die. So, always convinced by the calling of Carrigan. And with those shots at the back of B, remember them from a Carrigan. A couple of kills. Really loosened things up there. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I knew Carrigan had something up his sleeve there. I've, I've cast so many big moments of his from that exact position. Yeah. So he's just right at home in at back B, holding it down. Put him alone there and he really does pick it up. Now, Gade with the opener, but oh, the responses dear. are good. The responses are clean. Gade doubles back to the short side as a nasty surprise for Olaf. But the, uh, the SMG of twists, he can headshot you with whatever he's using, be it an AWP, an MP9. Arguably, the latter is the most annoying. Yeah, still closes it with the body spray though. But yeah, the insta dink certainly makes that clutch unwinnable and an AK picked up is good stuff for twists. You know, he was quiet in the first half. He said it didn't really matter. It's not like he was losing rounds for phase by any means. And a couple of kills there. It's going to get the uh, blood flowing again. Closing the round against that one AK-47. Big now have nothing to show for it. And they up top B is wishful thinking. Even with damage, phase are not going to be threatened. And this is more banana control that FaZe have had in this round than Big had in the entire first half. Think about that for a second. Big never had this. Maybe they had Sis with the orb once or twice, peeking down or forced FaZe late into car executes. But in terms of being tucked in this corner, something Big R not knowledgeable about. Pito doesn't care though, still hits the flick D. It's always the way, mate. Yeah. You're gonna point it out? Nah. Bomb drop though, round's over. Right, right? Surely. Yeah, it should be. I mean, there wasn't really anything in this to begin with. Twists. And twists, oh. nice and clean. There's just something about the way this guy peaks angles. I love it. It's so smooth. It's silky. It's love, luscious, just like his hair. Very on brand. But now we got the guns coming through for big. You know, their little quiet streak since losing the pistol might have made you put them to the back of your minds, but these guys know how to tango as well. And they've got the dancing shoes on. A 
Let's see SMV Brokey. We even get an old fight. Look at Carrigan go as well. Chill, bro. No one's even watching. He could get two kills if he went right now. He's got cover from Bolt. Bolt covers dead. Carrigan is two. Oh my goodness. That's all gone so wrong. If the cover comes in, if Brokey hits his shot, Carrigan doesn't get backstabbed by Tabs and he maybe doubles up. And that could have gone a whole lot better instead. Down a man, Olaf tucked in boiler. Well, he's gone by him. He's going to try and catch the late man of Tizzy and now knows they're in the bomb site and he's going to hold off. Wait for rain. Olaf's made this round a possibility. Oh, he's going to catch another. Olaf is just playing with his food right now. He's called for rain to come and join him. Lots of damage onto Tabson. Rain, one bullet, the nade, anything could do it. Tabson's oh. got to be clean, but rain finds him. It almost gets weird with that jump timing. Olaf Meister, though, mate, this guy. Oh, it's so great. It's so great having him in the server and looking so good every day. Yeah, it was that exact same duo that won the 2v4 in Banana, if you remember, in the T side, Olaf and Rain. It was them who got yeah. the 2v4 oh. on the line. That's a 2v3 from the same couple of uh, lads. And 12 to 7, when you're winning rounds like that out of nowhere, that's when things are starting to really flow for Faye. Seven rounds for Big, yet to break the mold on this T side. Just good decision-making, most importantly, from these guys. I mean, we know Olaf and Rain more than experienced in these moments, but no one overfacing, no one giving away anything. And I actually like the, the banana push, or sorry, the mid-push play from Carrigan with the cover from Broke. It's just a shame that... I, I, I say shame, you know, Tabs have destroyed them there, but it could have gone so much better. Like, if, if Brokey hits his shot, that round is over. Mate, the gnarly thing is, is like even Twist was involved in holding for that mid swing. Like the fact that Tabson blows them both yeah. out the water is just mind blowing. That's the Tabson effect, man. Even when he's having a great game, which he is, it's not enough to save big. They just need a T side round. It's the IGLs leading the server right now with Olaf there as well. On A to B, Reigns alone. He's out of util. Might need Carrigan to come on back eventually, even just to get that smoke in. Buy a little bit more time here for FaZe. Carrigan running the rotate. Knows they can hear him, doesn't care. Wants him to know that this B site, it's not yours. We're stacked up. We're three. Please believe. Smoke down, and it was never gonna, gonna really happen. It's only a fake for Big. The bomb's up top mid. Twist is deciding to stick around, and rightly so, as Big set up with 30 to go. Oh, Brokey has just given them room at short. Olaf needs to be ready for this. They're moving in and he's not Ooh. fighting. So Brokey out on an island is oh, flash. pretty much doomed to fail. Olaf, oh, there he is. Caught late from Tabson in the apartments, but still he keeps it even. He keeps it in a two-on-two. Searson is taking a big risk here on the push, but he reaps the reward. Rain dead on the rotation. Carrigan now thrown into a clutch. No One player already crossed the pit, and he's none the wiser. So Tabson and Searson lock that round in. And, you know, I always get nervous with those pushes through CT. We actually saw Carrigan end up, you know, having a bit of a mare doing that just the other day, where he pushes CT in a three on two, gives away that kill. Four USPs in top mid, and Rain alone B with the Deagle. Kind of, you know, out of all the ways to play this kind of fire, I like it. You know, you're, 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 oh my God, they're pushing middle and they're hitting a really good timing. There's no one watching for this. <gasps> Searson's seen it and the turnaround's in, but the USPs have done uh, a Olof. great deal. 3K. Yeah, Olaf, 3K, including his teammate. <laughs> but still a two on two in a round like this. You came into this having bought a Deagle and that was the extent of it. Yeah, imagine if he didn't kill his teammate. They would be up right now. They'd be favored to win this round. Instead, it's still in hot water. Searson's finally bringing the bomb, taking his sweet time to run this rotate. Tizian's about to cut one off, and there's a free kill. Now Brokey has the info. Tizian's already run back. But Brokey might catch him getting into apps. Oh, he comes back for the kill. Brokey's got the headshot. 1v1. Fakes the death cam. Searson confirms it. Full nade. Searson doesn't want to swap off the orb, though. Might just run around the app side. Bomb is at the back of the, oh, sorry, front of default, rather. Yeah, Searson's reposition should have just won them the round. Like, uh, it's really, really hard for Brokey now. He'd have to get given this fight, and yeah. Searson will not give it over. 
With no kit, there's just not enough time. But you can do a lot of damage here, at least. That's what Broki's looking for. Perfect. And the damage has been done. All five kills for FaZe on a USP round. They get out with an AWP. Yeah, big win the round. But FaZe now coming in with an investment. Oof, they are right where they want to be. Yeah, like they were absolutely fine giving that up. A lot of teams would have even forced in that round as well to, you know, to stop Big from building into the half. But FaZe don't want to let them, let them build, Harry. They tear down this tower and Big's money now gone. They buy here and that's it. Phase they win this round. It's, it's not GG, but it's as close as you're going to get before the 16th is found. Big on eco against 30, not fun. Phase, oh, they've got to be laughing right now after that eco. Great work. Yeah, I mean, you know, you still need to find the success yeah, on the exactly. back of it, right? You can't be getting ahead of yourself here. They're fighting for this top banana control tabs, and there's a big gap in that smoke. But he's not able to use it against Rain. Flash is getting lined up by Carrigan. It's going to pop just behind Rain there. And that's if they do try to challenge for Banana, which they're not. Broki missed shot on the open. I had a chance, but he does still have twists here who tries to send them back. It's gotten a little bit weird. It's Olaf to actually break the silence first. Now they know about him up here on the balcony. Twist is flashed off. Olaf needs to help him, and it's getting a little bit messy. No but Olaf way. Meister locking it down. Oh! He even drops into the pit, and USP's the final guy. Woo. Olaf, he's hopped in the time machine. He's rolling back the years. What a round. Yeah, I mean, we saw his USP. He got warmed up in that eco, didn't it? And uh, now it's finally pulled into a gun run. See, it's a full white to everyone, by the way. Absolutely everyone. That, that kill feed is not a lie. Keto and Tizian coming up short could not see Olaf. He got the first kill of the round. They knew he was there. And still, everyone runs looking at apps and they get blinded by Searson. It's not what you wanted for big. And it might be the beginning of the end. Brokey even peeking down middle. He's had enough. He doesn't care. And he knows that FaZe are as close as it gets to closing this series. It must be such a liberating feeling as well, knowing that you've got guys like Olaf playing like this. Like, yeah. you can be a little more loose if you're Brokey. Especially because, like, you know, when you look at this face, God, there's so much clutch potential. It's terrifying. You know, in the early days, Brokey was very much the guy we would look to for clutches. But, uh, oh. you know, now when you go down this list, I think especially with guys like Olaf Reyn, as he's like very, yeah. very tenured, grizzled veterans, they'll win it out smartly. Then you got Brokey, this explosive young talent who, you know, will give you a really flashy clutch. And then you throw in not only Carrigan, who on the T side was having a lights out start. Like he's kept it up. He was like 13 and 6. Now he's 19 and 14. He was entering rounds. He was just winning rounds single handedly. And Twist, who we were saying, oh, this guy's having a quiet game, 3 and 8. Doesn't matter, though. Phase of well, now he's stepped up in a big way. He's back to being positive. He's third on the team. There, there is not a bad sign, a bad omen for FaZe and for Big. Oh, got a feel for them. They've met FaZe at all their glory right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, we said, like, you know, there's kind of two faces to phase. There's the phase that's feeling it, and there's the phase that looks ugly. Yeah, which phase are phase in? And right now, mate, they are in that, like, prime time gaming phase, man. This is... Uh... This is the worst iteration of the team to me. It's yeah. terrifying. We're phase is sex, uh, set to max. Oh. There's the X. Came with a, a word too early. Yeah. Phase sex. What's good? <laughs> See us Not in, what I said. Out into top middle. And Brokey's holding for him. Yeah, he's seen the barrel. He knows what's up. Waiting for the kill to come. Oh, dear. Oh, it's so close, but... Almost a double. Instead, nothing. No one. Nowhere. And now they jump out of apps. Pokey's back at the bomb site. Twist is drawing them in. And Olaf's ready to knock them down. Oh, oh. my God, Brokey! Chill. Unreal. A wrist-breaking flick. And he's still hungry for more. They don't even know about Olaf yet. Keto can't win his fight. And Olaf takes out another. He's chasing you down, Searson. He's running. He's gunning. And he's looking for big kills. Now up onto 15. Spearheaded by Olaf, rolling back the years. Wonderful shot from Brokey. Yeah. Everyone in their stride right now. This is the replay Four I want to see. Yeah. Oh. Keep that cam on all damn day. 15 to 9. And yeah, not a not a bad sight here for FaZe. Not at all. Pistols out with a Galil and a Scout. Big. They've got to figure it out. 
We've got FaZe. Oh, they want to take apps fights. They want to peek into all middle. They're going to do so. He saw something there. Flashed out. Tizian knows that they've got him locked in. Molotov, even down alt mid. There is no getting away from FaZe. There is no hidey hole you can tuck your head into. Carrigan, he's reading the jump up. Tapson's gone. Three on five. And FaZe, it's a formality at this point. Yeah, they're so content with this now. That flash is good, but Carrigan, even while blinded, still takes one with him. Olaf is here to put the nail in the coffin. And every grave digger...